Hi everyone, it's Dell with Dell's Lawn Care. Today we have the Xmark 36 inch stand on. Uh, pretty popular mower, you know, whether it's a 36, 48, 52, uh, 60 inch. The tune up kit we're going to do today, we bought the pre packaged because it has the oil, spark plugs, fuel filter, oil filter, foam filter, paper filter, everything you need. The only difference between this mower and the 48 and the bigger mowers is the engine size and the bigger mowers have a canister air filter. You can do a tune up with all of your common household tools that you know you have laying around the garage, you know, nothing really special. Reason I choose to make this video is our dealer wants $300 to do a tune up. I'm going to do the tune up. This was $49.99 plus tax. Let's get into it. For this, we have to loosen the drain plug and I recommend starting your engine for 10 minutes to get the oil nice and warm. Wondering, that's a 10 millimeter wrench. And for air, I'm going to take off the dipstick and just kind of put it to the side. Another thing I like to do for the black filters, I use a Sharpie. I write the date and the hours so I don't have to worry. For the hydro fluids, which we're not doing today, they're mostly white filters. We use a black marker. Cut a plastic cup and put under here. I'm going to use paper towel today. So we take the filter off, tilt it up, drain it. Now it's important when you're putting a new filter on, um, I, I uh, wipe down everything right here, make sure it's clean, you don't want this to go onto your customer's property. Make sure you get everything out of the way, all the loose oil. When installing a new filter, take your finger, just put it in the old oil, put a little ring of oil, you know, light layer on the gasket. And hand tighten, don't over tighten it, just a little bit of pressure. Now when I'm changing my oil, I like to add a little bit to push out the old out of the bottom. If you do this, it doesn't get everything, but you'll notice as you're draining it that some more will come out. It'll push a little bit more of the old out, so you can get a little bit better of an oil change. Before you start putting oil, go ahead and tighten up that bolt the plug. Take your hose off that you used to put it into the drain. And we are now ready to fill the motor. going to show that it's over full. Just um, start the engine for five seconds, shut it off, let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes. 
and then you can check your oil to make sure it's proper. We're going to do that step after we change the fuel filter and the um, rest of the tune-up. Now some people say to do this, some say not. This is your paper filter, this is your foam filter. Put a little bit of oil on it. Some do, some don't. It's your choice. I always like to pour a little bit on it. Get it all around. Make sure you bring it out real good. You don't want oil in your carburetor. I wipe my hands a couple times to absorb a little bit. Make sure that I get it real good. Saturated. Put it back on. fuel filter they all have an arrow with the flow make sure you put it on properly this machine comes with a twist tie in the way I cut that off I have a new one Gonna use a spark plug uh, socket. This in particular mower is a short uh, extension. Now with everything we just did, we also want to grease all the fittings and change the blades. And that's a tune-up kit. You just saved yourself about $240. And it's the same thing that they do at the dealer. Thank you for watching and have a marvelous day.